promoters of the BBI process are alleging a plot to sabotage and derail the referendum. Paul Mwangi, a key drafter of the BBI referendum bill, says only one copy of the bill was given to the electoral agency, the IABC. And allegations of emergence of competing bills sent to county assemblies was suspect. This as the Joint Parliamentary Justice and Legal Affairs Committee is split once again on whether to edit and harmonize the bills. Let's get more from our very own Sam Ogina. Controversy has rocked the BBI push for a referendum after it emerged there exist varying BBI bills. The spoking proponents of the exercise who are now alleging a plot to derail the exercise. We have just moved from the last attempt uh, at, at sabotaging BBI, which were people saying that they are going to make uh, amendment to the document, knowing very well that if they make any amendment to that document, then they will have legally sunk BBI. Uh, that has failed, and this is, to me, just a new attempt at trying to come up with a credible reason that would give the judiciary a standing to issue an order against BBI. But even this will fail. Paul Mwangi, a key drafter of the bill, said they presented only a single copy of the bill to the IABC that was to be transmitted to the 47 county assemblies. IABC could only make copies of the bill without any alterations. IABC on its part distancing itself from any culpability, saying they received printed copies of the BBI constitutional amendment bill and forwarded to the county assemblies without touching on the content of the bill. Not within the system. Is, is it possible for that to happen uh, unless we are dealing with an act of uh, serious uh, criminal sabotage? Uh, and then it, it means that somebody would have to look at where that is happening, but definitely not within the laid down system. Because as I have explained, there is no space within the laid out system where a foreign bill can come into play. The Joint Justice and Legal Affairs Committee says it learned that only 13 county assemblies debated and approved the correct BBI bill. And that the bill at the National Assembly is at variance with the one at the Senate. For instance, the second schedule in the National Assembly's document speaks of Article 89, Sabbatical 7, but that of the Senate is making reference to Article 87, Sabbatical 7. This notwithstanding that the correct reference here was Article 89, Sabbatical 7. It is also emerging that Nyamira County Assembly considered and approved the BOMAS BBA draft. It took the realization of the Senate for the County Assembly Speaker to make amends and send the correct bill. We would only start talking about a problem if we are talking about speakers from various uh, county assemblies uh, saying they received a different document from IEBC or saying that they possibly made a mistake and placed before their assemblies a foreign document. And they would have to explain where they got that foreign document from. With this new development, it is back to square one for the committee on whether to amend or not the BBI bill. There is a fresh split within the committee on how to move forward in dealing with the varying documents. A section of the committee members now ready to make edits to the documents and harmonize the bills to have them make sense. But this has been opposed by the other members. Experts tasked by the committee while ruling out amending the BBI bill said Parliament could correct typos or issues of form. Those towing with the idea of editing the document saying the bill is out of form which should be rectified. Sam Citizen TV, Nairobi.